to notdrinkthat.com. On our website, we have a chugging challenge where uh, it all started with uh, Father Spoon, basically. Uh, a listener emailed us and says, I dare one of you guys to chug a Dogfish 120, which is 20% alcohol in a 12-ounce bottle. You know, it's pretty rough. Very hoppy. So we got this elaborate setup, and we, we made a huge joke about it. You know, we had a paramedic there with a blood bag <laughs> under his arm, and, you know, we played it up, and he chugged it, and that actually shot our listenership up a lot, because between the hate mail we got from the beer snobs and everybody else loving it, I mean, that just <laughs> gives a lot more listeners. I got a lot of hate mail. I still do. Which goes to show <laughs> you that bad press is good press. Because, you know, because of all those people bringing attention to us, we've got way more listeners that way as well, so. Was I hallucinating after the He chug? was dizzy, I'll say that. I wasn't hallucinating. I, I was seeing trails after my hand, like the whole, <laughs> and if you've done it, you know what I mean. Yeah. I wasn't hearing, like, the whole wah, wah, wah thing, but it, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. And... Most of that was due to the fact that I hadn't eaten that day. It was happened to be good. For, it was Good Friday, and Father Spoon was chugging a beer in a priest outfit. Yeah. And so by the time I had finished that, it really hit me hard, and I didn't ever even thought about you know, oh, I didn't eat today. I was like, it's a beer. It's, it's not going to be a big deal. But yeah, that that really hit me hard. And like he was saying, the main reason why we embellished it is because everyone was coming out with these, oh, it's extreme beer drinking. Yeah. And I'm like, these guys are idiots. <laughs> What can we do? And then by chance, one of our fans sent us that email saying, hey, Jerry, to chug it. It's like, this is it, man. And I go, this is the golden moment. Let's do what we can. And like I said, we, uh, we hired a, uh, a paramedic, uh, the official SIDT paramedic, Dick Hammer. Dick Hammer. So he came in. He, uh, he put the blood bag on. We got all set, and we started recording. Now, it does run about seven minutes long. I think it's worth every minute of it, but uh, we've been told that it could be shortened to 45, but you don't get the whole entertainment value out. A lot of people didn't get the joke, you know. The ones who didn't get the joke were the ones we were making fun of. So exactly. it's kind of fitting. <laughs> but it's, we've had quite a few hits from that and that's definitely is what propelled us to the, the forefront of craft beer podcasters, big right. casters, whatever you want to call us. It was, it was a fun time and it, you know, it was just one quick shot during night and we had no idea that it was gonna, it was gonna take off like it has. I mean, it's, it got us out to, uh, do a lot more with PodCamp Pittsburgh 3. All right. And uh, it got us, uh, well, interviews with uh, different prestigious magazines and newspapers. And I mean, we even had the wife of the owner of Dogfish Head email us and invite us down after they, <laughs> they saw the video. They thought it was funny. That was cool. Yeah. 